Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Team Skywater Rocket League Season Challenge. Are you guys ready? Oh boy. Oh my gosh. It is on. It, it's the bombers. It is on. You know, someone in the Discord ran the stats for our entire Rocket League careers. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. And the, the bombers are one of two teams we have never lost to. No way. No pressure. Yeah, yeah. No, so, no pressure, pressure, Jay. So I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for that. <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong is what I'm sure was going through your head. Yeah, bombs are totally safe. Uh, let's get, let's just jump right into it. Champions Field Day. Well, it's very clear skies today for Team Skywater. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I'm staying back. All right. Jordan, do we have some questions? We do, although we're going to actually start with an update. Whoa. Oh, Ooh, fun well, updates. I love updates. Uh, so this is an update from Jimbo is okay with his nickname. And, Ball's coming around the um, yep. He is also on the cross-country team. Oh, no, it's on the cross-country team! Uh, so he is over on our Discord server supporting at the $3 or higher Patreon, Patreon level to join our oh. Discord server. Um, and this is an update. He asked the question in episode low and wet. He was the one who asked if it was okay to step down at work oh, yeah, yeah. And, and be selfish, basically, as yeah, we call it. I yeah, we that. said do it. Mm -hmm. oh, um, and so he basically just said that everything was a little bit complicated at first, but eventually his managers let him step down, and he says, I haven't even been out of leadership for a week, and already the job is less stressful by an order of magnitude. No awesome. Way. It had never oh, occurred no! to me. Oh, oh, oh man, I oh, thought you had it. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Guys, <coughs> Jay, you should, oh, I was worried about running out of headroom there and then just went for the bump and went for the bump. Almost though, that would have been uh, an epic save. Well, yep. I'm glad I mentioned that we hadn't <coughs> lost to them before. Yeah, yep, yep, definitely. Depends. Jinxed it. Um, but his his last thing is that it never occurred to me that it was okay to be selfish in regards to taking care of my mental health, but thank you for saying it because it's working. Yay! Oh, oh my gosh! That's great because once we gave no! somebody a vote. Oh man, guys, we gotta we gotta pick it up a little. Really good advice in this one. Really, yeah, this is we're, we're, yeah it's because we're. Clearly, it's because you know what? We're not even giving good advice. We're just being told we gave good no. advice. <laughs> this is like this is even worse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Jimbo, I'm glad that that is working out for you. Should we get to a question? Yes. Yes, yeah, please. Do. All right. <laughs> uh, so this one is from Put Waluigi in Smash Ultimate. Uh, that's the name? That's, Apparently that's, that's their name. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's not a question, that's yeah, a request. That's yeah. Um, they, uh, they say, hey, Ben, Jay, and DK. So I have this really bad fear of dogs that I'm trying to get over. Oh. I don't know how. I have gone to a therapist, but it didn't go well at all, and I just left having a really bad feeling towards the whole idea. Do you have any ideas of getting over a phobia that's basically unavoidable in normal human life? Oh, man, oh, interesting. Huh. Um... <clears throat> I'm glad they so, word that generally because I don't know if I super have advice. Oh no, oh, man! You guys, we have got to. This is really not. We're down. You know what? It's not impossible. <clears throat> we're not. We're not. I like, thought that was gonna be able to swing around here. Oh yeah. Oh, you, oh, you, were, you were, so were like there. Real close. You were there. The real bombers close. are like out for blood today, folks. I'm staying back on D here. All right. All right. Here we go. We gotta focus. We gotta focus. Phobias I have a are... phobia of losing to the bombers. I'll tell you what. There we go. That's uh, a goal. That's hey, a goal. Hey, is it? Oh, oh, oh man. What's up? Oh, that was boom, boom. Take that. Good shot, dude. Holy cats. Gotta make it yeah. sky water. So, man. I've, have you ever had to deal with uh, any kind of phobia? I'm not personally. Our yeah, little same. brother, Tyler. So, like, I own an aquarium business. And our little brother, Tyler, has a phobia of fish, oh, sorry, weirdly. Um, of touching fish, not, of touching like, fish. Be, not like seeing them or being around. Them. Right, and, uh, yeah, like, so I, and I guess he would even eat fish without it being yeah. like an issue. Um, but yeah. like, if, he, if he's around like like a fish, like if we were going fishing, he will legitimately... Be like um, shaking. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah it's That's pretty, fascinating. It's weird, yeah. It's super odd. Um, and it's not really like crazy in keeping with Tyler's character at all. Like, it, it's not like, it's not like it would just be like, oh yeah, you know, he's, he's afraid of everything. Yeah, no, like, he, I can't imagine him Set being... all... Oh, too high. Can't imagine him really being afraid of much. Really. Right. Cross it over. Oh, the At least not, like, phobia-wise. Um, uh, but yeah. that being said, we did go fishing uh, at the beach on vacation, Woo. and uh, for whatever reason, it was, like, 
we like, caught a big fish and he was able to hold it. Yeah, yeah, we happened to reel in a shark, and maybe something about it not being scaly or something helped. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you should try like a, a hairless dog. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, or, or something. I think something in that vein. Um, the other thing that like I'm a big like person on is sort of like the like the oh god that should have been in um, like the immersion therapy type thing where it's almost like you're inside of it and <sighs> oh no man I should have had that. It's my bad. Me too. I, I just completely missed like a surefire goal. Um, but like I've had times before like where No! I... Oh my gosh, it looks bad. Okay, it cleared. It cleared over the goal. That was almost oh, it. Oh gosh. Uh, where I was never like a big person like for sushi, for example, like a speaking of fish, uh, randomly. And um, I found myself working. Tyler eats sushi all the time. I don't know if you follow him on Instagram. <laughs> no, I'm sure I know. you do. I do. I do. I, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> um, but so I. It was like this thing, like where I. I was kind of like unnerved about the idea of eating raw fish, and uh, I was working with a group out of Florida that basically like. Oh yes! Yeah! Oh, one minute to do one more. Oh, one minute to do one more. Okay, oh, we, we, we can do it. We can do it, you guys. That was a long bombing day. Was. Took two minutes and eleven seconds. Look at that! I just snuck it by him. I love it. He thought he had it. Still do it. <coughs> All right, let's All send right. back on D. I'm gonna go for it. It's mine. Then get that ace. Um. But yeah, so I was working with a group out of Florida, and we were working on like a big job where I was working with them. Oh. Um. Oh no. Oh no. That's good. And uh, all like that's just like what they eat. You know, like every yeah. day. Yeah. Yep. Sure, sure. So I was like working like a job site for like a really long time, and um, it was one of these where I had been doing like manual labor the entire day, and they were like, "All right, we're gonna get dinner," and it was on them. <gasps> no! Oh, oh goodness! This isn't good. This isn't good. We're getting sushi though, and it's kind of like I have to get food inside of me, and I I'm not one of these people that ever likes to be a problem if I'm out, so I'm just like I'll eat whatever they put in front of me. So we get a ton of sushi. And I just sort of go for it and actually found that I love it. Huh. Um, and it was one of these things where I don't think anything other than being in a situation where I felt like there was no other out. Some slam that in. Oh, yes! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got 24 seconds. 24 seconds. We got to get an ace. Get the ace. I'm going to put the responsibility on you guys to answer more of these questions. I feel like I'm, I, I don't, you guys I don't, are you've playing had, you've some solid game. You had and, such I'm, <laughs> and I'm just having to... So, oh. so piggybacking off of what Ben said then is is start small, and in the case of dogs, maybe literally start small. Find a small, maybe very old dog who's going to be more calm than Big say bounce. a younger dog or a bigger dog, and maybe start by no. meeting a oh, small dog. It's right, right there. there. Oh, in gotcha. a very safe situation. Someone hit it in. Somebody hit it. In! Look at this! Oh, oh, rip headphone users! Oh my gosh! I'm not even sorry! <laughs> oh my gosh, what a we game were, for I Team we Skywalker! Let's make sure they don't ace us here. Uh, oh yes, let's make sure of that. Okay, okay great. And that's it! Overtime. 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 overtime, overtime! All right, Derek, I think it's you. Oh uh, nope, it's Jake, it's Jake, it's Jake. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Boing! Woo. Okay, nope, they went our way. That's not our good. That's not our good. That's not our good. Our way meaning not our way. In their favor. Jordan, I like you thinking now. Yeah, I, I like, mean, <clears throat> I think my version of it would be like, go volunteer at like the local SPCA. Oh, oh, um, oh no. there. Oh, oh I, no. I, I, I hope someone saw no. that save because my god, that's the best defense I've ever played in my life. I saw that save. It was amazing. Thank you. Jay's best hits. Oh, oh Jay's here. best hits. Um, but yeah, just just start small, and I think that it's that way with most. No, 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 no! No! Oh man, they. End I cannot believe that after our crazy comeback. And like that was such a Bumped good. Bumped me out of the way, man. Oh my oh, gosh, we were so right close. There. Oh no! Well, <laughs> we've so lost to the bombers now. I'm so crestfallen. Why uh, did you say it? I don't know. I just. Uh, every, oh gosh, it wasn't a good idea. It. All right, all right. But yeah, with, with the very phobia that you did. want to get over, start with a small and potentially in a safe environment exposure <sighs> to it. And also, don't feel like you have to see them. Like, if someone has brought a dog at, at a, to a party and you're at the party, you don't have to go greet the dog. You can go to the other room. 
It's okay to and need ask time them to away. Put the dog upstairs. No. No, no, not at their house. I do not, not think that house. it's okay to go to someone's house who has a dog and ask them to do something <laughs> with the dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're if you're severely allergic or something. Maybe. maybe. I mean, everybody always makes accommodations <laughs> yeah. for sure. But like yeah, I would yeah. put my cats away if Beth came over because I know she's super allergic. It would not help. <laughs> for what it's worth. All right, all right. That's, anyway, uh, let's all right. get into the next match against ne- the Guardians. Neil, to go. Who is the other team that you have? Jordan! Nothing. Is it really? Didn't say anything. Oh, it is. It's 100%. I remember it. I'm going for it. Going down, Thanos. Thanos? Oh, because it looks like Thanos. Yeah, jeez, man. Where have you been? Oh, it's like, is Thanos one of the cars? Holy cats. Woo! (laughs) We're dead. Or half of us. All right. uh, More advice questions. Uh, This one is from Pillows, and her question is... My boyfriend and I have lived together for seven years. We're thinking about moving home separately to each of our own parents' homes for about a year to save money. We're living paycheck to paycheck right now and it's not fun, so we need to get a leg up. A lot of people tell us this is a terrible idea. What do you think? Uh, uh, it's uh, maybe a good idea financially. It seems like a tough idea for your relationship. If you, if, yeah. yeah, my, my uh, two cents on that one is, ooh, oh, there we go. That could be is yeah. if you, <coughs> Want to stay in that relationship? You cannot do that. Yeah, I think I think I'm inclined to agree. It's it's very very tricky to to flip <coughs> the dynamic on its head like that. Is there no way? I wonder for them to both move in to one parent's to one. house. Yeah. Like or I don't. The other question is, do they do um do the parents live or like are they the same town or something? Like are they high school? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I uh, sweethearts. They are or? close in location to one another. Yes. Oh, well, that's a little better, but it's still tough. I mean, yeah, people got us tackling real problems today. Yeah. No yeah. kidding. Although that is a really valid point to bring up. If they are living at a distance, they would basically be going from living with one another to being long, like distance, long distance for a year. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. that looks pretty good. Nah. No? This could be the... It's, you know, but there are people who go from living together to being long distance and they make it work. Like, if you're dating in college. I mean, it's, I'm not saying that's impossible, sudden, not the least, but uh, yeah, um, it's, it's going to it, way... What scares me more is the decision to, it, that it's not forced by anything other than your personal decision. Right, It seems right. like you've decided to, like, be apart then or something. Um... I mean, it sounds like they're trying to do it to save money because they're living paycheck to paycheck. I, 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 I don't think it sounds like that. Yeah. I think it's definitely that. Definitely oh, yeah. that. Um, whoa! The, the but is, thing, like, is this a crutch for like a, a bigger... I don't know. Is this another... I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough about the situation. Uh, that's a fair question. It's tricky, and it's, it's dangerous, and I don't... It's, I'm, I'm inclined to think that it's a bad situation to volunteer yourself to be in. Like, people that uh, have a situation... Where the one ooh, oh no the one that was needs a weird to um, be away, it's usually forced upon them. You know they're not like choosing. Right, right, right. Like, that, that, that could be the, that could the, be more of like a, like a job placement in a different yeah. country or a different state. Right, or like a, you, where it's not <laughs> your choice. What are you doing, mm-hmm. <laughs> So the one thing Never. that I think they have working in their favor, trying to play devil's advocate here a little bit, is ooh. that. It, it seems like they want to do it for exactly a year, so there's a, a, there is a, a concrete time. timeline. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But also, I wonder if, if their parents live in about the same area and they could visit one another, would it not end up where they would just spend all of their time at one person's house and then the other one would be like, all right, I'm, I need to go home to sleep well, now? I don't know how your parents are, but like, e- even if I think I was like, you know, in my late twenties and more graduated and had a job, they're still I don't think be like cool with people like spending the night or anything. They've been living together for seven years. Yeah, but still, that's fair. They're not married, you know. They consider um, eloping and then <laughs> using the gift money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much gift money you get when you elope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The oh, you should need to have an elopement party. I think that's a wedding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's what they call it. Yeah. I do actually really like the idea of eloping and then being like, hey, we eloped, let's yeah. have a little get-together. <laughs> it's, it's an elopement barbecue is what it is. It's a yeah. really, really casual wedding. Woo. I don't think Dang grandparents it. like elopement barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they would like to be a part of it. Yeah. Part of the thing. 
Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna go slamming in, and it did not. Center. That's that's funny. So it sounds like yes, yes! you are all on team. Do not do this. I it's pretty well it seems it's rough, man. Yeah, I it's think rough. okay, okay. So Can hypothetically, we offer an alternative? well, all right. So I'm thinking like, and and I'm okay with this being a bad suggestion. But like, if there was any way to reinforce the relationship prior to making the decision, i.e., getting engaged, that way it sort of like offers the reassurance to both parties ah. that like, okay, this is serious. This is like a short-term thing that we're doing. Because in the scheme of things, a year is not that long, but it is. It, a lot can happen in a year. A lot, a lot can absolutely happen in a year. The, um, I, I see what you're saying. My only thought of uh, my only comment there is getting like engaged under duress then maybe sure sure yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, this is weird. okay so l let me devil's advocate this like if you were married what would your solution be here you know like yeah, certainly you. you wouldn't i think of living apart and you've been a together for seven years so like you know like what's, what the, you're what's the what's the solution if you were already married you know like right. maybe treat it like that um because certainly that must be what you're hoping for at this point seven years in that makes sense. Unless they just don't believe in marriage, which is like... I get not, not saying get married to solve yeah. this problem, that's not at all what I'm suggesting. I'm just like wondering, like, if you were married, you would obviously have to solve this problem in a way that didn't involve living apart. I just really hope that I get invited to the elopement party. So my advice yeah. is see if, see if either set of parents is okay with both of you living in a single place or something like that. That seems like the best case scenario. Or right? ask yourself the hard question that is, is there a reason why you're not looking for a solution that is together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a yeah. hard question. It could man. be a hard question. could be a hard question. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we know pillows. We care about her. We and, do uh, indeed. We she hope, is great. We hope it turns out for the best for you. Yes, yes, indeed. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We won. We went one and one. One and one today. I feel yes. like it wasn't our best gameplay ever, though. Well, well it was all not. things yeah, considered, you know. Yeah. We're we coming in cold, though. We are. Yeah, cold, we did. Yeah, normally, we have, we have some warm up matches. Today, we didn't have warm up matches. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I got. That's all you got. <laughs> that's all you got. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you need any advice or just have some random questions about anything, let us know in the towel section down below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.